Welcome participants. Now we are moving to lecture number three. This is related to production, but mostly on a uh, flat knitting machines. So in the last uh, uh, lecture, you have seen the production on circular knitting machines. We derived two formulas, production in uh, meter per hour and production in kg per hour. So you don't have to remember these for, uh, formulas. If you know the uh, steps, you can simply derive these uh, useful formulas. So, so these are very much useful in finding the production capacity of the machine if you know certain variables related to machines. So uh, in case of circular, you have seen mostly the cylinder is rotating. Uh, so we have the RPM as one of the machine variables. But now let's see the production in flat knitting. So in flat knitting, you have seen the carrier do not rotates around the cylinder. Uh, because you have the flat bed. So the carrier actually traverses from left to right or right to the left. So here two machines we have already seen in previous weeks, uh, single bed machine and double bed machine. So this is uh, the double bed machines where there are two carriers for two beds and they are just moving from one side to other side. If you see single bed machines, it is moving from left to right or right to left. So here basically it is not rotating, rather it is just tra traversing from left to right or right to left. So definitely the variables will change for fabric production on flat knitting machines. So in usually in flat knitting machines, so uh, if you see the flat knitting machines, uh, especially speed is expressed in carrier traverse speed because you know this is the carrier which traverse on the machine from left to right and right to left. So we need to be, uh, we should know the carrier traverse speed and then we can express the fabric production similar to circular machine as a linear meter per hour or kg per hour. The derivations you can find it here, uh, production on a flatbed machine uh, is equals to velocity of the carrier, E is the efficiency, C is the courses per inch, and W is the traverse length. It means how much the carrier travels on this bed. So this is the formula. Let's derive this formula. It's a very simple step and then you will uh, able to uh, figure it out how this formula has come. So let's see the derivation. So this is your flat machine. So this is the carrier. If you see, this is the carrier. So first thing is, first variable is the velocity or speed of the carrier in meter per second. So this is the velocity of the carrier through which it is moving on this bed. So we have taken the average speed because uh, you have seen the velocity will start from zero, then it will reach somewhere uh, at the higher uh, highest point somewhere in the middle of the bed and then it will again go goes down to zero. So that's why we have to take the average speed. The other variables, so this is the average speed, please remember. The other variable is traverse length. So we should be knowing because the bed is almost one to two meter of length. So sometimes uh, you might uh, not be using the entire length of the bed. So you might be using only selected portion of the bed by counting the number of needles. So W is the traverse length in meter. And other two variables, once the fabric is produced, you can easily count out the courses per inch. And E is the efficiency. For example, if the worker is uh, taking some break during the production, so efficiency. So once you have these four variables, you can find out the production. So uh, you know the velocity of this carrier on this bed. You know the traverse length. What is the selected portion of the needles on the bed? You can find out that length. So the time taken, time for one course, you know the distance, you know the speed. So simply you can find out the, so distance by speed. So if the carrier travels certain distance on this bed from left side to right side, it will just made one course. So to make one course, you know the distance uh, consumed on the bed, 
and you know the speed of the carrier. So, you can simply W by V. Okay? So, W is the width, W by and V is the velocity. So, number of courses you know the uh, for one courses you know the time. So, number of courses in one hour you can find out number of courses in one hour you can simply find out one course is taking this much time. So, uh, if you take the reciprocal W by V this is the uh, number of courses made by one second 1 by W by V into 60 into 60. 60 second uh, 1 minute and then 60 into 1 hour, 60 minute into 1 hour. So, this is the number of courses in 1 hour because in 1 hour they are 3600 seconds. So, in 1 second you, you are making 1 by W by V courses. So, in 3600 seconds you are making this much courses. So, you know the uh, number of courses. Now, you can simply find the length of the fabric. Length of fabric is course spacing into number of courses. So, course spacing is nothing but 1 by C into V by W into 60 into 60. So, these are the number of courses and this is the course spacing distance between two courses 1 by C. So, uh, length of fabric in 1 hour it is produced is this much and since it is running only for a uh, certain percentage of the time. So, you can simply multiply efficiency here. So, into E by 100. So, this is just to make sure uh, the down time if the labor is not working if you if the hand is tired then you might rest for some time. So, this is overall formulas. So, if you will just rearrange you can find out. So, here if you see this is this course is in inch. So, you can use better you can convert this into meter. So, uh, so if you convert this into meter because this is in inch. So, 2.54 divided by 100. So, in totality if you will just take all uh, arrange and uh, remove the zeros from the numerator and denominator. So, you will get 0 0.9144 into V into E C into W meter per hour. So, this is the formula for the production of fabric in one hour. So, this is in meter meter per hour. So, uh, we have seen the derivations looks very simple even if you do not remember the formula if you remember the steps if you have understood the concepts uh, you can easily find out the production. So, let us have a very simple example and then we will finish this particular lecture. So, uh, the formula you have already seen the formula production per hour. So, this is this is the question let us see the question. So, calculate the length of a plain single jersey fabric knitted having 200 veils and 16 courses per centimeter made on a 10 gauge machine, 1.5 meter width single flatbed machine. The machine operates for 8 hours with an average speed um, of 1 meter per second at 95 percent efficiency. So, the machine is running for 8 hours, the carrier speed is 1 meter per second, efficiency is 95 percent. And if you see the course per inch, this is 16 courses per centimeter. So, the so course per inch is 16 courses per centimeter. You can convert this into inch because every time we are using course per inch. So, this will be 14.64 courses per inch. Okay? So, you can say uh, you can convert centimeter into inch, you can get the value of C in courses per inch. V is equals to 1 meter per second if you see velocity is 1 meter per second, efficiency is 95 percent, you have seen efficiency as 95 percent and the gauge, gauge of the machine is 10 because you have seen here the main uh, gauge of the machine is 10. The other interesting thing you can understand here is the fabric is having 200 veils, 
So two, each needle is making one well. So number of needles used is equals to number of wells and how many wells are there 200 so 200 so it means on the machine you are using only 200 needles so you can find out the distance w which is traverse length is equals to 200 into distance between two needles so you have the needles so distance between two needles is 1 by g if you remember machine pitch distance between two needles is 1 by g so 1 by 10 so this is 20 inch and you can convert this in inch into meter this is equals to 0 0.508 meter and now you can simply use the formula because you want for 8 hours so production meter per hour the formula was we have already calculated into v into e c into w so please make sure the units uh, are always like c is in courses per inch so 0 0.9144 velocity was 1 efficiency 95 and uh, courses per inch was 40.64 and width of the machine was 0 0.508 this is for one hour so let's suppose this is for p naught and production in eight hour you can simply multiply eight into p naught so you you can find out this so eight into p naught eventually you will find out this will equals to 33.66 meter so this is the So uh, with this like if you have the machine variables and some basic parameters from the fabric you would be able to find the production capacity of the machine. So with this uh, we are ending this lecture so um, again so this is the formula um, you have to you might remember or otherwise if you understood the concept you do not even rem uh, want to remember this type of formulas. So in the next class we will uh, start. Uh, calculation related to fabric structure like GSM, uh, course uh, uh, width, the fabric length, shrinkage, tightness factor. So, all related to fabrics we will be covering in the next, uh, next lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening.